Let's go do this. I need to remove my wanted. I don't mean to boast. Don't you know about it? Best I stay hidden. should investigate. Why can't I dodge? The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. I better not use my weapons here. You're still looking for me? Damn, how long are these guys going to look for me for? Like, Jesus. for the great scholar's lecture. Fazal Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Where 
الكلب قريب المأمونية صفوت ويرز قريب المأمونية صفوت لقد غادر هذا الصباح إلى مصر ويرز قريب I hope to catch the whiff of her magnificent aura. It's so rare to see her outside of the round city. Here we go. In the garden. That's how we do it. Upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hand, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, sleeping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> the translator, Hunayn, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wada'an. That astronomer might be one of them. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the house of wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabe, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. These House of Wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmed ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. Nothing else, I heard. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No, more like something from the Bimaristan, or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds. Other people out among the stars. Nonsense. There is that poet, the Bidlub, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Yes. Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. 
And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> She go. This, I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you would find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. <laughs> Make sure you guys are just friends. <laughs> Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. That sounds more like more than friend, well. What the hell? Pardon me. Is Fazil Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside it. <laughs> Time to listen to it. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim al Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemy. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the floods? 
who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. Hey, man. Find yourself a great scholar, father. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the house of wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. The old fraud for hiding. I wish to complain about the shortness of the lecture. I remain profoundly unedified. Did you see the powerful terror of the Turkish face? Looks like somebody about to get his skull ripped. How exciting. But do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. What see you, my friend? Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed.
<laughs> okay, let's try that again. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and ink. I'm aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He also is going to try to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, without <laughs> any hidden cellars. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost all those greatest works. Looks clear. I've lost all I can those use my weapons works. again if needed. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arif. Forget the poet. We better find Father's book or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. Now I'm gonna die. That didn't go as well as it meant. Sounds like part of a passphrase. Come out to play. Come 
Come back and die! I'll flatten you! Oh shit!